Hi, it's Andy with Mountain Computers, the Go Green PC Tune-Up Guy. I got a computer here that is Windows 7. And, uh, I, he dropped it off Friday. He said, take your time, speed it up, tune it up, whatever. So the first thing I turned it on, uh, I got to look at the uh, system settings. So, control, let's see what we got here. We've got system. Uh, we've got an i5 with 6 gig of RAM, and is this a dual core or a quad core? Let's look at That's quad core, okay. So we've got enough to do this. This is a jump drive right here with uh, my classic Windows 10 uh, that I used um, by using the Microsoft Media Creation Tool. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and look see if he's got any antivirus on here. And he does. Uh, he doesn't have anything else. So, uh, bring up the command prompt, and we're just going to do this real quick, CD tasks, uh, he's got some stuff in here, let's dump all that, uh, let's kill up Mozilla, let's clear up games, uh, let's see, oh, RD games, yeah, we did that, RD games, games, okay, oh, there we go. Okay, RD temp, clean up the temp files, see if you can see everything. And then uh, what else do we do here? Let me pull this up a little bit so you can see the top of the screen. There we go. There we go. So again, um, Andy Mountain Computers. This is the Windows 10 um, upgrade. This is an HP what? DB what? DB7? Okay. Uh, make the temp directory. Let's see the backslash users set. His name's Ed. We'll go to the Ed directory. And he's got a bunch of stuff. CD app. CD local. Oh boy. He's got a bunch of stuff here that's crazy. Let me turn off the background noise here in just a second. I just did another video in this in this office here, and uh, so what we need to do is we can do each one of these separately. We'll just clean up. Let's see, RD temp, MD temp, just in case, and uh, directory slash RD directory. He's got all these things. So let's do directory slash bear forward slash f dot txt. Okay, notepad f dot txt. Let's see. Let's get. I'm going to dump the crash temps. Uh, elevator diagnostics. We'll get rid of all these files here. And by doing that, it does leave with those, with those. Okay, good. Exit. Oops. X. No. Exit. Alt F4. Copy. Con to yes. Or Y dot TXT. Y. Enter. F6. Oh, function F6. There we go. Okay, so this is just a quick script to get rid of those folders. If there were like a hundred of these or two hundred, which I've seen, we're just going to empty them all. So for forward slash f uh, percent i in f dot txt do r d uh, do r d percent i forward slash s redirect yes yes dot txt. There, done. That command right there for forward slash f says percent i in that file which contains all those directories and file names. Do a remote a remove directory percentage of I of that file. Forward slash include subdirectories. Redirect the yes file to answer yes. So done. We still have one. It's a file. See that right there? It's a file. So we can just do delete. Let's make sure we don't have anything crazy in here. No. We can delete everything in here. Okay. Good. All right. So that was easy. So we've got to get rid of quad core i5 with 6 gig of RAM. So let's get rid of the antivirus. Let's see here. System, programs and files. And Microsoft. Security Essentials. That's it. 
This is really simple. I mean, what year is this? 2021 and he's still running Windows 7? Um, he's got plenty of disk space. He's got an old drive. 348, 348 gigabytes free. No, it's okay. Yeah, he'll, he'll be fine. Okay, finished. We don't need to reboot. So, da -da -da -da. let's do that. Do this. And we stay off the internet, so it'll go faster. If we were on the internet, it would go out there and check for updates all day long, which is ridiculous. We don't want to do that, okay? All right, so we're going to go ahead and, uh, let's see, open, set up, see us. Anything else I need to worry about? No. Oh, excuse me. Mm. Oh, one thing that I always like to do. I always like to clean, start with a clean slate, run as administrator. Uh, net shell, uh, net uh, ADV, net shell, uh, ADV, is it net shell? ADV firewall reset. Okay, what? I'm not going to do this. That's weird. I should not do that. Net shell, ADV firewall reset. Uh, access to nine. Are we doing this right? Yeah. Net shell. One stop reset. No. NT. NT. T. IP reset. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, let's go to the control panel. Let's go to the firewall. I don't know why it said access to nine. I want to say restore defaults. Yeah. That's okay. I want that. Um. Oh, and one other thing. You don't want to have um, him logged in every time because he does have a password on here. So, net users. Uh, it's Ed. Net user Ed. I took his password off. And the other thing you want to do is make sure the administrator account's on too. Administrator. Administrator. Active. Yes. And. We can leave the password blank for now. We'll put a password on there later. Yeah. In, in fact, when you install Windows 10, it's going to deactivate the administrator account. We'll reset it to active. So this part right here, it's actually um, looking for updates. And since we have no network connection, yeah, we're off. Everything else is good. Beats. Yeah, this will be fine. I don't need to run CCleaner or anything like that. I mean, he does in the background, but... Anything else? Just clean up the file system. Dump your temps. You can dump your logs, too, but... I don't know. We'll let that finish. I'll pause the video for a minute, and I'll be right back. Okay, it's Andy with Mountain Computers, the Go Green PC Tune-Up Guy. We're back here. Doing this uh, DV7, HP Pavilion DV7. Windows 7 to Windows 10 upgrade. I'm sure people have done this millions of times, but each time you do it, you learn something new. Um, you don't have to be a genius to do this, but you just need to have your ducks in a row. He has all, everything backed up, which is important. I like the fact that, you know, sometimes when, when you, you do enough computers in, in your life, um, you realize it's not really that hard. Um, let's zoom in on this a little bit. So you can see. There you go. Yeah, we don't need to do anything crazy here. Uh, yeah. Close that. Yeah, that's running. We'll be right back. It says Norton stuff, but I'm not worried about the Norton Online stuff. So, we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. And it says that we have to... Um, Finish the install steps. So it looks good. Ooh, install. Let's go for it. So it's going to take a while. So we'll pause and we'll be right back. Okay, we're at 37% complete. We're getting there. We'll be right back. Okay, so the uh, installation of Windows. 
and complete it. We'll accept all this. And... Hmm. Dismiss all this. There we go. Let's give it a few minutes to settle down. It'll figure itself out. Don't worry. When you're off the internet, it doesn't have the ability to figure things out. Hmm. There you go. Let's get on the internet. Mm -hmm. Thinking. There. Let's go to Mountain Computers. Oh yeah. We'll connect. Okay. Okay. Once we do this, then it's going to wake up and do some stuff, okay? We'll pause and come right back, okay? Okay, we're back to uh, day two. We let this uh, system update overnight a couple times and let the uh, system do its job. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to finish tuning this up a little bit. Uh, make sure all the updates are in place. It's a little dirty on the screen, but we'll, we'll deal with that later. Background. Choose which apps in the background can run, turn these all off. off, once that's done, we'll bring up services, we're going to turn off the uh, sysmain service, sysmain, set that to manual, sort of a part of the AI, we won't do windows search, we could, windows search, <clears throat> I'll turn that to manual. Since he just basically does word processing on this thing in here. What else? Um, we have an icon here. Oh, it's got the green PC tone. Let's see if that's it's up and run. Yep. Let's see. Yeah, that looks good. We'll just go ahead and make sure the restore points are set. Well, that's running in the background. We don't have to do anything else. We'll just check performance. It's thinking. There it goes. The thing about the uh, system restore points is we want the uh, limits to be turned off. And just run it quite a few times. He's only run it five times on this. We'll let that finish. It's amazing the number of hops when you do a ping and a trace route. Anything less than 10 is good, or great. Anything less than 15 is good. You can see our hop count is okay. We'll do this one time. Let's exit this. We'll just hit restart. My reload stats 19, 41%. Huh, that's interesting. Let's see, we can stop this. The most important thing at this point is when I first was developing this tool, one of the main things that we always had to do was we had to make sure that the uh, temp directory was reset. So go to temp 
and it's there and it's empty. Uh, system 32 tasks. Make sure nothing crazy in here. Yeah, dump all those. See the tasks. The other one, it's empty. Direct, uh, delete all the logs. Yep. System 32. Dump all those logs. Okay. Over here. Anything hidden? Nope, nothing crazy. SSH on the rest is there. Hello. Huh. Look at that file. Interesting file. I end up getting rid of that or something. Doesn't look right. It's okay. We'll look. That's good. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. That pretty much does it. Anything else? Can't think of anything else. Just make sure our updates are in place. Yeah, we could say check, but he'll be fine. For what we done, what we've done. You got some pending down there. People have to look down here. And the first thing I always do is I go ahead and expand, turn off location, make sure nothing else is crazy, clear all notifications, go here, uh, see threats, that's fine, dismiss that, make sure app browser control is on, people want you to save their stuff to the cloud, which you don't need to do. We're going to, I saw a dot down here, see this right here? It says it's one pending, could be wrong. I don't like that Windows Insider program. Hmm. Let's reboot one time. And then we'll call it good. That's the ATI driver. Oh. I'll play Tim. will take care of that anyhow. And that will be it. So, again, this is Andy from Mountain Computers, the Go Green PC tune-up guy. All I can tell you is that's what it takes to just tune up a system. Use a Go Green PC tune-up tool. Um, all you got to do is just go through the file system and the registry and fix that, review that. I didn't do the registry in this video, but I've done it in other videos. I'll put the link down below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And uh, I've got some other programming to do today. I just wanted to do this laptop real fast for a friend of mine. Yeah, he's going to pay me, but nothing crazy. Just make sure you have your Windows 10, you know, on. This is a micro SD card. It's 8 gig. These transcend adapters are great. You don't have to buy the ones that go into the computer or in the side of the 5 and a quarter bay or 3 and a half bay. These cost about 9 to $15. Not a white one, pink one, black one. Yeah, blue one too. No, just those three colors. I like the white one. It stands out when I'm working. So, other than that though, that's it. Andy from Mountain Computers, the Go Green PC tune-up guy. Have a great day. We'll go ahead and get this posted, and we'll get back to work. Have a great day. Bye-bye.